shooting sticks. People have probably bought them. Now they come in very various prices, and I guess various quality, various heights, various weights. Personally, I don't like them. I've got one, but when leaves are on and you're shooting squirrels, it's not tall enough. I'm gonna show you something here now. I'm gonna just put an idea maybe in somebody's head and you can do what you want. Now, I just come out of the woods. This is two handles to this thing here. I think I bought it at Tractor Supply. And this is the thing here where the smaller shaft slides and the bigger shaft gives you a long extension, okay? Now, you could use this on a shooting stick if you wanted to make one collapsible by sawing this shaft off and sawing this shaft off and put this in the middle. Okay. But this right here, I don't know how this is going to come out in the camera. But you see how high that is? That's what you need. When the squirrels are in them mulberry trees and you're having to get in close and it's getting your angle steep, okay? But now, even eating, shooting, even when they're eating hickory. Now, this is this old HM2CZ. Now, here's what's nice about this. We'll see if this comes out in the camera. Now, see, I can adjust my height on my own. I don't need a trigger stick to do it for me, okay? And if I get up here and I get too high, I can kick your stick out a little bit, okay? And what's nice about this stick, too, is is you can it'll brace your gun you like you might stand like this right here an old squirrel okay i'm gonna tilt my head back an old squirrel might be up there and he won't be still he won't give you a shot you're like well shoot i can't hold this gun up all this time well this right here you can hold the gun up a long time see i ain't even got this head here on the gun I got it resting down in my crotch of my arm okay but now you see how you see the angle i'm over there that's steep right there Dale. I don't like to get real close to squirrels, but that right there will work. I don't know if this will come out on the camera, and I'm having to tilt my head way back. But I bought this thing here about seven or eight years ago, and I don't even use it because I've got a pole saw now. And I got to thinking, after using that old trigger stick, now one nice thing about this right here, it's, look at that, I'm putting pressure on that thing. Look at that. I'm even putting my leg pressure into it. And a lot of times when you use a trigger stick to get steady, you need to push down on it, okay? Put some pressure down on it, all right? And when you do that, them jointed sticks, a lot of them, they'll flex. Well, this one right here's not got much flex. Now, this shaft here's a little bigger. It would work too, but it'd probably be a little heavier. Now, a person could, since this is how long that you'd be hauling, okay? So on an ATV, let me lay this old gun down here. See, an ATB, this might be too long for you. But you could put this in the middle and let it run sort of like a shoot stick. But when you get in the woods, see here, you put this thing here in the middle. And then you turn this knob. But when you get in the woods, like when the leaves are on, you'd be adjusting it probably up that high. Now your body height might drive that a little. Okay, but you're better to always be set too high. See, you can move your hand down. And I actually don't like a, a gun in the V on them shooting sticks anyway. And that V, see, is in your way. Here, I can run my hand all the way to the top. See there? Now, probably need to put you a rubber foot on it off of something. A walking stick or a wheel, uh, a walker. Okay. And you probably need to put something up here too because it'll... It'll have that echo effect, and that'll stop it when you're uh, using it, okay? But now, when you shoot squirrels in the weeds, you can use this right here and rake them weeds back and keep distance away. Oh, rather, might be called up in there, old copperhead, okay? And I don't think I give much more than about $40 for this thing right here, but shoot an old shooter stick, an old cheap one, cost that much. But you might make you a short shooting stick for the when the leaves are off, if that's what you desire. Or like I said, you can make you an adjustable one. Of course, to make a short one, you'd have enough supplies here left if you wanted a short one. If you wanted to do most of your shooting, uh, you know, at more eye level or lower even. I just thought I'd show this. I got this idea today because that old, I went and was going to buy another shooting stick, and I said, I ain't doing that. I'm going to make me one. Now, when you get caught out in the open, 
you know, you might can get against a tree, but here you don't even have to really worry about it. I made some good shots while I go with this gun. I killed three nice little squirrels. Now this thing right here could be painted. Same goes for those sticks, but I didn't put no paint on them yet. I might put some camo paint on them, but a person could paint this, get the gloss off of it. If you wanted to use it and make you a jointed where you could shorten it up to get it on your ATV or in the back of your side by side or behind the seat of your truck or you just didn't want it that long all the time. Okay, just thought I'd share.